Hi, welcome to Eclipse Virtual Piano. So let's have a go at it. And Yeah, this very special piano was developed at the request of uh, one of my subscribers and I did promise I'll make one in uh, Eclipse. So what I'll do next is take you guys straight into Eclipse where we will develop one together. So let's have a go at it. So we start Eclipse, double click on your Eclipse why the Eclipse is loading up let me show you where I have my sound I have all of the sound that I'm going to be using right here okay so I'll be calling this sound through Eclipse so let's go back to Eclipse now I have this my workspace area so I'll just click on OK now Eclipse is ready I'll go to file go to new select Java project and let's give it a name and call it piano click on finish and there you have your piano if you drop it down you see the following files and right click on it go back to new select others or order once order is selected you will see window builder inside window builder you need a swing designer select application window click on next and you can enter a name there as well you just call it pianos with an S it's a different name piano underscore S and click on finish now there we go we now have our own development environment right here you should see you should be able to see it okay right here is my design and that's the source code right so just extend my frame that much and take it down a little bit that will do and uh, right here go to the palette and select absolute layer click on absolute layer move to the frame and paste there now the next thing you want to do is get a button right there click and click right in there that's the button right in there okay you can then set the button now you want it maybe about that and uh, let's go for this so let me change some properties or set some properties for these buttons select the button and come to font change the font I'm going to change my font to about let's go for maybe 22 make that bold click on ok set the alignment vertical align set it to bottom right there ok now change this to C ok now what I'll do is just copy copy and paste paste it right there so I'm going to need 11 of those across and I need about 5 of those, 7 of those up there. So let me speed that up and get back to you guys. Alright, all my buttons are in place now. That is left for me to do is just to give them a name appropriately. So let's do that now. So I'll start with this very one here. Let's change that to D. So now we can D and this. Is e. I will speed it up and just get back to you guys okay the next thing is now 
for us to import the following library so let's double click on the or let's go to the source file and write up here right underneath here let's import as follows so if you notice let's open it if you notice I've imported the following all of these and all of these are the ones actually it was imported by Eclipse itself okay the frame the both and the font the swing constants okay I only imported sound sample audio format and I audio input string and the audio system and the clips okay you must import those the next thing for you to do now is to go into the for the development interface now double click on the button right there okay now let's press enter to make room for it enter the following lines of codes if you notice I have used dry cache right so we just have an error there which needs to be sorted okay that's the error there all the error want me to do is to import a java io so double click on it and hopefully that is imported let me go up and see there we go that's it right there it's imported so we'll come right down to where we are okay so this try cache will cache any error if there's any error if you notice this audio input string and that's my variable there okay i'm also using audio system to get the audio, audio input string okay and right here i have my file location okay this very file this is supposed to be c drive oh sorry c i think that should be c so so let me show you the files here yeah, are the files I'm, i was calling the wrong one which is this i'll be calling that later on but this is the very one i'm calling right now okay so what i'll do now is just copy all of these lines of codes it's exactly the same lines of code go back to the design interface double click on d and right here where it says public void action perform just enter paste so that's for d change that to d that is my file location if you want to verify that if you right click on it go to properties you can always find your file location right there okay let's go back into the div, the interface now let's take care of E double click on E repeat exactly the same thing paste it there change this to E now back to design double click on F repeat the same thing change the sound to F okay and G double click on G paste as well so what I will do now is just speed it up and get back to you guys okay all the codes are in place now it's all exactly the same lines of code let me show you the rest of the codes let's minimize this so that you can see it that is it right there it's exactly the same lines of codes okay have a good look at it you're going to need it all right okay from here up to there so just copy exactly the same line of code and paste it on each button let's see if we can break this into two yeah that's much better now you can see it that's it right there okay the same lines of code was or were repeated for each component and that is for the double B I don't know what that is called in music and uh, let's come here and that's maybe C sharp or whatever that's the only name I know in music okay I'm gonna run it now let's run it so that you guys have a good look at it there we go. 
So all that is left for us to do is let's change the font color or back color. Just select it all. Come straight to yeah, right here. Just select back color there and make that black. And that is it. And these ones, let's select all of these and make this one the back color white. That will be white. Yeah, that's fine. But these ones, since the back color black, the font, I need to change the font color to white. All right, that's done now. So let's run it again and see how it looks like. There we go. So with that, I'm just going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you enjoy it. And, uh, do subscribe. You have a nice day now.